So I did my first launcher update for the Fire Stick back in June 2018. And since that time, I'm always looking for newer methods, newer ways, just to make the process as easy as possible. And in fact, if I press play. Hey, Tech Doctor, that's a really nice looking Android TV operating system. Though. Well, it is. Well, actually, no, this is in fact my Fire Stick. So like I was saying, I'm always on the lookout to make this process as easy as possible, just so we can really get the most from our Fire Stick. Well, I'm pleased to announce, or should I say, allow me to introduce the Fire TV settings helper application. Now, I really can't tell you how excited I am about this. I mean, yes, it's an application, but with this application, no more typing, no ADB, no connections, nothing else. Literally just start this application, as we can see now, and I'll click on select the launcher, choose a lean back launcher and now click on save, press the home key and we now have a brand new custom launcher with a custom background. I didn't type in any ADB commands. I didn't go into remote ADB show or anything like that. Literally just start this special application and it does all of the work for you. So I really am happy with that. I hope you guys like it as well. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also fully customize your Fire Stick, get amazing backgrounds, get amazing launchers and all of that without any kind of typing whatsoever. So it's all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so before I start, let me just say a massive thanks to Sween Wolf. Now he's the developer that reached out to me and then together we collaborated to work on his project. But as he's the developer, he did the coding, really all credit is due to him. So for this process to work, the only thing you need to do is make sure that you have ADB debugging enabled on your device. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, you don't need to do any kind of ADB or any kind of typing manually yourself. This process or specifically the helper application will do all of the work for you. So once you've enabled ADB debugging, let's press the home key. Let's go to downloader. And let's now navigate to my website, which is just HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk that's me and the number is 2019 let's type that in and click on go or press the play button on your remote now when you get to my website let's go to the hamburger menu let's click on that and let's now click on tutorials and the first tutorial or the latest tutorial in the list will be on how you can customize your 4k fire stick to use a custom launcher and it'll be the update for april 2020 so let's go down and click on that and here is the tutorial and when you scroll down you can see there's four things we need to download well actually three the fourth is a custom background if you want to change that so the custom launcher we're going to use in this demonstration is the latest version of lean back launcher and that does actually allow you to have custom backgrounds so if you do want to have a custom background in your launcher and i do think it looks really nice i'll show you the steps for that at the end of this video but for now let's download these three things so the first thing is the fire tv settings let's click on that and click on the green download button so the Fire TV settings is basically the application that allows you to select whichever launcher you want to use. So let's download that first. Give that a second. Let's click on install. Let's click on done. Let's press the back button. And let's now download the amazing TDUK Fire TV Helper. And this is basically the application that does all of the work in the background. As soon as you open this application, it will make an ADB connection. It will type that command in for you, and then it will take you to the other application and then ask you which launcher do you want to use. So really slick application, guys. Definitely do give a thumbs up for that. Let's go down and click on the green download button. And let's click on install. And let's click on done. Let's press the back button. Now, one key thing to mention about the helper application, it has been designed as a one-time use. So once you've used it, you can just uninstall it. If you do want to use it again for whatever reason, you need to uninstall it and then install it again. So I hope that does make sense. Okay, let's lastly get the actual launcher we're going to use. And this example, we are going to use the latest version of the Leanback launcher, which is 1.9. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. 
Now to download the wallpaper, I will leave a link to the one I'm using, but you can download any wallpaper you like. The only thing you have to do is give it a special name and make sure it's in a special directory. As soon as you put it in that directory with that special name, you'll then be able to use it inside the Leanback Launcher. Okay, let's click on install. So we've now installed three applications, the Fire TV settings application, the Fire TV helper application, and also a custom launcher. Let's click on done. Let's press the home key. And this is it guys. So in my previous tutorials, I'd now say, open up remote ADB shell, make a connection, type in these command and so on and so forth. But we're not gonna do that now. We're just gonna press and hold the home key, go to applications, go to the bottom of this list, and here is the helper application. So once again, as soon as I launch this, this is going to make the ADB connection for us, do its magic, and then automatically start the Fire TV settings application. So that's why I'm hoping it's going to work first time. Let's now actually do that for real. So let's open that up. There's a key prompt there, let's click on OK. It does its magic, it then launches the other application and we can see at the back there, we now have the accessibility services started and we have the secure permission granted. So definitely guys, do give a massive thumbs up for that because this just makes the process so much easier that even grandma can do it. So I really am glad I can share this with you. And we can now just click here and choose whichever launcher we want to use. So whether you want to install ATV or whichever launcher from our website, you can select it here. Now in my example, because I installed the latest version of Leanback, Let's click on that. Let's go down, leave these two options ticked as default and click on save. Now, before I press the home key, as previously mentioned, because this is a one-time use application, I'm now going to uninstall it. So let's press the context key and click on uninstall. Click on okay. This just keeps everything tidy on your device. Okay, so the moment of truth now, I'm gonna press the home key and wham, bam, bam we are in our custom launcher we already have the special background which i changed before but i'll also show you how you can change that right now and we see that's working fine guys so super fast super slick of course no sponsored content no big amazon adverts no promoted content only our applications we want are all available here and we can access everything with one click and that's working amazingly well. So, okay, so how do we change the background? How do we get the long press home key? You know, when you have the shortcuts to get to your settings or display mirroring or your apps, how do we bring that up? And lastly, how do we customize what we're looking at? Okay, so the first one, how do we get a custom background? So if you go down here and go to your launcher settings, let's scroll down and we have the default wallpaper. Let's click on that. And we have the option to choose a wallpaper. Let's click on that. And here we can just confirm that the launcher is looking for a file called background.jpg. And that file needs to be in the root location of your internal storage. So let me show you how to do that now. So let's back out of this. Let's go home. Let's open up a downloader. And let's just browse to google.com. And here I'm just gonna type in retro wallpaper. But of course you can type in whatever you like. Uh, let's go for retro. Okay, let's search for that. Click on search. Let's go to images. And uh, let's click on this one over here. And uh, let's click on it again. Uh, let's visit that site. I'm hoping we should get a nice download button we can use to quickly download this wallpaper directly onto our Fire Stick. So uh, let's go for this one here. Let's click on that red button. And click on download full resolution image. And we see that then downloads that inside the downloader folder, but we can see that the file name is some random numbers.png. Let's click on done. Let's now press the home key. Now, as previously mentioned, guys, that file name or that picture needs to be called background.jpg. And the way I change that is just by using a file manager. Now, the file manager I recommend is called Explore, and there will be a link for that on the tutorials page. So let's open that up. This works really well on the Fire Stick or really any Android device, and it works great with the standard remote control. Okay, so because we downloaded that file in Downloader, I can now go to the Downloader folder, and that file was called um, some random numbers.png. Let's find that in the list, and there's the file there. So I'm just gonna press and hold the Select button, and I'm now going to say Rename. And I'm going to rename that file to background.jpg. Let's do that now, so back. In fact, guys, just while you're waiting for me to type this, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, if you want to see more tutorials on the Fire Stick or the Fire TV Cube, 
or the Nvidia Shield Pro or your generic Android boxes, then please do like this video and also think about subscribing because that really is the best way you can support my channel. Thank you. All right, so background.jpg, there it is. Let's click on next. Okay, that file is now renamed. All we need to do now is move that to the root of your internal storage. And the way we do that is press and hold here. Let's now select copy or copy to clipboard. Okay, let's now go back up and let's click on internal storage and we want to paste the file here. So let's go to the right now and select paste. Now I'm thinking because the other file that I previously renamed is in here, it's probably going to tell me, do you want to overwrite it? There we can see. Let's say we do want to overwrite it. That's now done. Let's now press the home key. We can see that straight away has actually updated our background. So that's how you can customize your background with any picture you like. Just download any background from downloader, rename it to background.jpg and make sure you put it at the top of your internal storage. And we can see guys, we now have this nice retro sunset picture there. Okay, so three quick things left. How do we bring up the long press home menu? How do you temporarily go back to the stock launcher? And lastly, how do you permanently go back to the stock launcher? Okay, so the first one, how do we bring up the long press home menu? Well, the way you do that on the standard remote control in this custom launcher is you press and hold the context key, which is one of the three lines. Let me do that now. So whilst the context key is pressed, I'm gonna press and hold the home key for just a second. So one, let go. And there it is, guys. So that's how you access the long press home key. Let's press home key again. Okay, so how do you now temporarily go back to the stock launcher? Let's say you wanna check something or look in the settings or something. So the easiest way to do that is just go to the bottom here and where you have system, let's click on that. So this takes you into the normal settings. And if you now press the back button once, you'll see you do go back to the stock launcher. So for whatever reason you wanna look around here or check things out, you can do that. And if you wanna go back to the custom launcher, you press the home key once. So that's how you temporarily go back to the stock launcher. And then lastly, how do you go back to the stock launcher permanently? Well, the easiest way to do that is just to uninstall the Fire TV settings application, this thing here. So if I press the context key on that, go to app settings, click on uninstall, click on uninstall again. Let's now press the home key. And we're now back to the stock launcher. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think this opens up a world of possibilities now because we have the single helper application and really we can now code it or tweak it and really get it to do whatever we want. So some of the other tutorials I've done in the past where it required you to type in commands, we can now just update this application and really just make it your one-stop toolbox for everything Fire Stick related. And of course, I haven't forgotten about my Fire TV Cube users. I'm just getting the helper application tweaked a bit. So once again, even on the Fire TV Cube, you can open it up and it will do all of the work for you without any typing needed. So once again, guys, many thanks for watching. Many thanks for your support. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do share this video as much as you can because that really does help me out. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.